Dan Armani Beats Presents Beats und Production bei Jare Musik. Well, there's not too much you can say about the expanse of product on the internet as far as recording and, you know, um, a bunch of artists singing uh, sing a bunch of really great songs. And, um, you know, and, and the fact is um, there is a standard now based on algorithms of, on what playlists will have or what Spotify will promote or what gets buried under the myriad of um, supply of music out nowadays, especially online. Well, it's, it feels weird because I say, especially online when um, they're mostly online, you know, like the vinyl surge has had happened for a while and, you know, random CDs are being purchased from the shelf. But the fact that there is a lot of supply over the internet um, makes it really tough for um, anything to be sustainable if you want to do music business full time. So which means that you, you either you can choose a few options for yourself as a creative whether you're um, a lyricist or a beat maker like myself or if you see a songwriter or you know a pop star like you know who gets their songs written for them um options is you can basically turn yourself into a business and make your, your own music gain in traction based on your own um trajectory your own um you know direction your based on out of your own um steam or strength uh you can really you know make way that way and um you know it, it's it's been that people have been doing it for a long period of time um ever since the internet blew up the game so to speak so um uh, that option means that you're gonna need to make your own way and um that 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 is the case for a lot of people um and you will find that if you follow their profiles on social media you'll find that they carve their own way, their own direction, their own progress, um, meaning that they give themselves their own traction by putting them, themselves on and, you know, really utilizing the internet to, to really market their work. Now, um, that, that, uh, that avenue of success or like ambitious aims of direction means that, uh, that you could either need to, to, um, work two, three jobs, um, and um you know uh, and and though and have side hustles and you know and you probably won't need to do music so much in full-time basis because you're going to really um need to learn marketing and advertising your your music um so that's a lot of work like that's a 10-man job really and um and you know like if you didn't have the knack or the um, wiring to do marketing, then you'll probably need to spend a bit more money to um to, for to pay someone for someone to to get your music heard. So um so yeah, and 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 managers are there. There's managers you can hire for that, which you will pay uh, uh whatever fee or subscription they ask. Um, and the other option is to, to work for someone else in the record industry. Um, record business personnel are always looking for creatives. It's just the, how, how the game is played and how um, they weigh out your, your, um, your impact or um, potential for really blowing up. Like they, they, they won't just put on anybody with a good tune because um you know uh, he, nowadays like everything everything is really sounding really the same and it's very very hard to stand out or you know like be be noticed by any chance of a difference because the standard has been really um uh well def well well defined and pretty much um being standardized really to um to sound like this guy or that guy or sing like this woman or that girl um so so either way uh creative control with now belongs to 
you know your um, your audience and that's what people believe in based on you know the the consistency of what you're providing um the the fact is um whether you think it's a sad fact of uh making music and you know promoting songs and singles is is that people do want to hear the same stuff that's just a sad fact of it um they don't want to hear anything that is avant-garde or experimental as far as a, a mainstream plat platform or mainstream um, product because um on a mainstream platform because because we've all become desensitized to to what we hear and what we we like to hear and continue to hear so um i don't think it matters too much whether um you choose to go the independent route or to work for a company uh as long as you're um you know providing what the people want to hear and um and whether as a creative whether you agree with that or not that's a choice for you to make for yourself before you can really carve out a difference beats and production by yarimusik